There are shocking new details about the murder of America's most hated serial killer and how he may have seen his own death coming. Tonight, Diane Diamond reports on the plot to kill a killer. I am happy and very excited that the monster is finally dead. It was a brutal murder behind bars, a shocking lapse of prison security. And while correction officials promise an investigation, no one involved with the Jeffrey Dahmer case says that they're surprised. I use the word hit, and that has been one of the rumors that has been running rampant, was that this was some sort of a hit. Exactly what happened is still not clear. Dahmer was cleaning a prison bathroom with two other inmates when suddenly one of them apparently took a broom handle and started beating Dahmer to death. Prison officials say Dahmer's head may have been bashed against a wall. Uh, there was so much animosity toward him with a number of the inmates were either jealous or resentful over his celebrity status that he had in prison. Officials say it was this man, Christopher Scarver, who carried out Dahmer's death sentence. How they caught the assailant is that he was covered with blood. Uh, there was apparently a great deal of blood at the scene. Prison officials won't say why three guards assigned to the area left the inmates alone. But for now, they insist the guards did nothing wrong. I'm confident that staff did everything uh, that they were supposed to be doing and looking out for the safety of the inmates in this situation. In 1991, Dahmer was sentenced to live out his life here at the state prison in Portage, Wisconsin. But those who knew him say that Dahmer never believed that he'd survive behind bars for very long. I am not surprised. I had predicted that he would be killed in prison because he had a death wish. He always had a death wish. He was a sick kid. He knew he was sick. In recent months, Jeffrey Dahmer apparently had found religion. He was formally baptized in May, and in the prison chapel, he confided to the minister about how he was ready to accept the ultimate punishment. Now that he's a Christian, and he felt personally that he deserved to be put to death for his crimes, uh, the question was, am I sinning against God by continuing to live? So it appears that Jeffrey Dahmer may have wanted to die, to end his tortured life, to rid himself of his inner demons. And to the families of his victims, Jeffrey Dahmer's death sentence finally brings an end to their private suffering. Whoever did kill him, he's my hero. I will be sending a thank you card to this hero. The autopsy on Jeffrey Dahmer says he died from multiple skull fractures. Tomorrow, Dahmer's mother speaks out for the first time to hard copy her first public comment since the murder. This is the man suspected of murdering Jeffrey Dahmer, 25-year-old Christopher Scarver of Milwaukee, serving life for a 1990 murder. The police report from that crime depicts an unstable man. He asked to add a T to his name whenever it appeared as Chris, so it would read Christ. His attorney tried an insanity defense. It failed. So you have a class of people like Christopher Scarver in penal situations who have mental problems but are incarcerated rather than in hospitals. Dahmer, according to medical officials, was beaten beyond recognition while working on a three-convict janitor crew, which included the suspect. A third inmate, Jesse Anderson, was critically injured. The three were reportedly left alone for 20 minutes. It is something that we did not expect. And had we been aware of something pending, we certainly would have taken preventative action. Although Dahmer's crimes were known worldwide, the murder case against Jesse Anderson made major headlines here in Milwaukee. His attorney believes the prison was negligent for putting two notorious inmates together along with another violent criminal. Attorney Ronald Hendry is also convinced of the motive. Anybody who sits back and says that they don't think that race had something to do with this probably isn't on the same planet. Most of Dahmer's victims were minorities. Jesse Anderson, convicted of killing his wife, blamed that murder on two black men. Corrections officials have created a special panel to investigate the attack. And a final irony, the divorced parents of Jeffrey Dahmer, the man who dismembered his victims, are fighting over his remains. Don Fortangelo, NBC News, Milwaukee. If you've ever wondered what goes on in the mind of a serial killer, or even more curious to me, in the mind of a woman who falls in love with a killer, we'll try to find some answers today. I don't think anyone can forget.